Hi, this is Matt, and today I'll be looking at smart groups and how you could use them in Workspace ONE Unified Endpoint Management. The use case for smart groups um, that I'll go through today is really around Windows 10 um, updates. So they, there's lots of other uses. You know, you could use it just very simply to, to separate your platforms. So it could be you've got smart groups for iOS, for Android, uh, for Chrome, for Mac OS X, for Windows. Or it could be that you want to create your own smart groups that are you know, specific groups of users based on a particular operating system version or uh, you know, some other conditions. But really, just to look at how all uh, they're actually set up. So if we go into groups and assignment groups, are effectively what a smart group is. So in here, you can see all my smart groups. Um, I've already got some created that I did the other day. Um, for Windows updates, so I've got early adopters, production, targeted, and critical ring. So that's how I'm going to manage my Windows updates. If I look at the early adopters, as an example, you can see the criteria for my smart group, um, so that preview group, is that if you belong to the IT department, then you fall into that particular smart group. If we looked at, say, production, you'll see a bit more detail, you'll see a few more groups. So these could be Active Directory groups, could be OUs, but you can see here that for production, for broad ring support, uh, I'm using you know, these finance, marketing, and sales department. That's just an example. So on its own, um, a smart group you know, needs to be assigned to something and, and kind of work hand in hand with something. So what I've done here, if I go across to my profiles, and then you can see I've got corresponding Windows update profiles for broad, critical, uh, early adopters, and targeted. So if we look at, say, early adopters, so I've created a Windows 10 or Windows desktop profile. Uh, this is for early adopters. If you're part of that smart group, so that's the early adopter smart group. And then we'll go into Windows updates. So you can see here that we're using the insider build. Whereas if I then come back out of there and maybe go for broad support, you can see here that um, it's assigned to the broad support smart group, the production. You can see here that it's the semi-annual channel with uh, updates deferred for 120 days and quality is deferred for seven. So that sort of falls in line with some of the recommendations from Microsoft as to um, you know, what kind of rings you want to bit sort of build your users on. So that's how we can use smart groups to actually um, control those Windows updates to my different groups of users. As I say, it can be using uh, you know, active directory groups, could be OUs, could be something you want to do manually for certain users. That's just a good example and practical use case for smart groups. So I hope this was of interest and it was useful. Thanks for your time.